Okay, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you guys the new top five best builds in NBA 2K22 next gen. Before I do, I'm gonna do things like and subscribe if you eat food and comment down below which of these five builds is your personal favorite. I'm gonna start things off with a guard build and then start moving to taller and taller builds. And for this first build, we're gonna be making a point guard. For the body settings, I'd recommend going with six foot two, 174 pounds and six foot five for the wingspan. And then moving right along to the attributes, you guys can see the finishing is pretty good on this build. You're gonna get in total 17 finishing badges, which is okay, I guess. We're also gonna get an 86 driving dunk and you will be able to get the pro contact dunk package and the small contact dunk package. Obviously, you guys can tell this isn't a rim running build, but if you do have an open lane towards the basket, you can 100% take it. Next, moving on to shooting. You guys can see this is also very, very good. You get 31 total shooting badges, as well as a 93 three-pointer and a 98 three-pointer if you buy boost. Next, moving on to playmaking. In my opinion, the playmaking on this build is definitely top tier. You're gonna get 30 total playmaking badges, as well as Hall of Fame quick first step and gold bullet passer. And then moving on to defensive slash rebounding, this is pretty good. It's not absolutely crazy or anything, but you will be able to hold your own on the defensive end with 19 total defensive badges, as well as Hall of Fame Interceptor and Gold Clamps. I've seen a lot of point card builds that have absolutely no defense. And trust me, you don't want to be that guy that's getting scored on every single possession. Now scrolling down to the physicals, you guys can see this is all around pretty decent. A question I get asked probably every single video is why I have my speed so low for a point guard build. And the reason why I have speed a lot lower than acceleration is because acceleration helps you speed boost faster, while speed helps you move around quicker off ball. And since this is definitely an on ball guard, acceleration is much, much more important. If you want free throw on this build, what I recommend doing is drop down your Mid range to a 79. Also drop down your driving layup one rating and this will give you a 74 free throw. Now moving on to the takeovers. In my opinion, the best takeovers for a point guard build such as this is double limitless range. I mean, after all, this is a three point hunting build. And if you are somehow able to get double takeover on this build, trust me, you're not missing from anywhere. And you guys can see I built a two way three point playmaker, which I think definitely makes a ton of sense as a name. So I'll be right into the second build of this video. This is going to be a glitched build. And for this glitch build, you're actually going to want to be the point guard position. For the body settings, you have to go with 1.95 meters, 79 kg, and 1.96 meters for the wingspan. You're not actually going to be making this build, but you do have to do this in order to get the glitch stats. And for the attributes and takeovers, pretty much just go with whatever you want to. It really doesn't matter. And then when you get on this screen, you're going to want to scroll all the way over to where it says edit build, and then press edit build and back out to the main menu and change it over to the imperial system. Once you are in the imperial system, you're going to want to edit the build you just made. And then for the body settings, go with six foot five, 188 pounds, and six foot nine for the wingspan. You guys can see, obviously, this build is six foot five, but since this is a glitched build, you're actually going to be able to get six foot four and under dribble moves, such as the really OP Derrick Rose six size. Now, moving on to the attributes. Starting off with finishing, this is actually very, very good. You're going to get a 92 driving dunk and 19 finishing badges, as well as elite contact dunk. Definitely, even though this build doesn't have the highest batch count in the world, it's going to be catching a ton of contact dunks. On to shooting, this is also very, very good. After all, this is a guard build, and whether you're playing shooting guard or point guard, shooting is going to be very, very important. Next, on to playmaking. This is also quite good with 25 total playmaking badges. Compared to the previous build, the movement's going to be a little bit worse, and you only have silver bullet passer. But even with that being said, the playmaking on this build is going to be elite. And then on to defensive slash rebounding. This is probably one of the most underrated parts of this build. You're only going to be able to get 19 defensive badges, but this build's defense is going to be very, very good since you get whole fame clamps. And then moving on to the attributes, you guys see this is quite good. I don't think I need to explain this. If you want free throw on this build, what I'd recommend doing is drop down your speed one rating. Also drop down your close shot to a 54 and this will give you an 84 total free throw. For the takes, I decided to go with first limitless range and second extreme clamps. Overall, I just think these takeovers fit the build quite well. Now, as you guys can see, I built a two-way inside-out scorer, which is honestly a very cool name in my opinion. So I'll bring right into the third build of the video. This is going to be a small forward build. And then for the body settings, I'd recommend going with six foot eight, 188 pounds, and seven foot four for the wingspan. So now moving on to the attributes. For finishing, you guys can see this is very, very good with 22 total finishing badges, as well as elite contact dunks and an 87 standing dunk. 
all around this is probably one of the better finishing builds i'm going to show you guys in this video on to shooting you guys can see this is quite good you're going to get an 83 pointer and 20 shooting badges and this build is going to be absolutely knocked down if you know your jump shot next moving on to playmaking you guys can see this is kind of like a point forward type build you're going to get 24 playmaking badges and you guys can see you're going to be able to facilitate quite well with an 86 pass accuracy and also if you know to dribble your movement's going to be quite good as well next moving on to the defense of this build this is honestly very very good i mean just look at these stats you're going to be able to guard every single build in this game like honestly the defense on this build is top tier next moving on to the physicals you guys can see this is quite good again i don't think i need to explain this if you want free throw on this build what i recommend doing is drop down your standing dunk to an 84 this will give you an 87 free throw which is very very good next moving on to the takeovers i actually decided to go with the exact same takeovers as the previous build again just like the previous build i think these takeovers work extremely well and then as you guys can see i built a two-way facilitator which honestly does kind of make sense as a name so now hopping into build number four this is going to be a power forward build and then for the body settings i'd recommend going with six foot 11 226 pounds and 7 foot 7 for the wingspan starting things off with the finishing attributes and badges you guys can see this is very very good i mean i really don't think i need to explain this you get a 99 standing dunk 28 total finishing badges as well as hall of fame posterizer and even though the finishing is super good you're still going to be able to shoot on this build within total of 23 total shooting badges Next, scrolling down here to the playmaking, the only thing that matters, in my opinion, is pass accuracy, which you're going to want to put up to an 85. Scrolling down a little bit more to defensive slash rebounding, you guys can see this is just insane. I mean, you have 34 total defensive badges with gold brick wall, gold rebound chaser, Hall of Fame rim protector, and Hall of Fame intimidator. And then next, onto the physicals, you guys can see this is quite good. This build is going to be an absolute beast when it comes to defense and finishing, and as well as going to be able to green consistently and facilitate the floor if you want free throw on this build all you're going to want to do is drop down your strength to a 63 and this will give you an 83 free throw for the takeovers i decided to go with stuff blocks and see the future these are in my opinion the best takeovers for a defensive oriented big man build such as this and as you guys can see i built yet again another two-way facilitator which i'm not super surprised by but i do wish we got a different name so i'll be going into the fifth and final build of this video this is of course going to be the center build and for the body settings you're going to want to go with max height 237 pounds and max wingspan moving on to the attributes for finishing you guys can see this is very very good and you guys can see you're going to be able to finish at the rim very well whether that's from post scoring or just setting a screen and cutting to the basket now moving on to shooting for the longest time i thought there was absolutely no way a max height and max wingspan build was going to be able to shoot consistently but i'm here to tell you guys this build can green very consistently like honestly at this point there's no build in 2k that can't shoot on to playmaking obviously this is a seven foot three build the only thing that matters is pass accuracy which you're gonna want at an 85 and then moving on to defensive slash rebounding this is absolutely just elite you're gonna get hall of fame brick wall hall of fame rim protector and hall of fame rebound chaser this build is just gonna be getting infinite blocks and infinite rebounds and then scrolling down here to the physicals you guys can see this is quite good personally i found that a 52 vertical works perfectly fine for me although if you want to you can bump it up if you want free throw on this build you're going to want to first drop down your stamina to a 92 then drop down your speed one rating as well as your steel one rating and then also drop down your post control to an 81 you can get a 75 free throw now moving on to the takeovers this is honestly up to you and your play style i decided to go with see the future and stuff blocks although if you're going to be post scoring definitely go with a post scoring takeover and then you guys can see i built a versatile paint beast which i guess kind of makes sense as a name if you didn't make it this far into the video please like and subscribe there's two gameplay videos on the screen right now both of which include builds that are featured in this video and also there's a dribble tutorial on the screen right now too like comment, subscribe go follow me on twitter and i'm out peace